uh, tonight I'm very happy to welcome our friend uh, Diana Elizabeth Torres from Mexico. Uh, she's an actress uh, working between Mexico and the United States. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Okay, a few months ago we published uh, your interview uh, in Spanish in our website meetingvenus.com and uh, at the end of the interview you were talking about uh, new, new projects, you know. Uh, uh, so tell me, um, you had some uh, television series planned for Mexican television? Yes, I just finished um, a new TV show that it's an upcoming TV show that it's uh, for Televisa, which is a, a network here in Mexico. And it's about the corruption in the legal system in Mexico. So I found that very appealing to just um, put different cases out there and just um, show people and educate them about laws. I mean, nobody really, uh, I mean, I, I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up thinking, oh, I know what article, what to do in certain situations. So that was definitely empowering. And I'm glad that they made me a part of that project. So I, I can't wait for that to be out there to the world, <laughs> but I just finished it. So probably next year. Yes. How many episodes? I mean, the, the, the show, it's 48 episodes, but I just have, you know, just, just have like a small portion of it because part of the, um, part of the, the show is that they want to portray different stories with different cases and different people uh, from different backgrounds and what they can do about it or what's, what's happening. Sometimes you have a situation and you want help from the government or just, you know, you want them to do their job and you get a lot of like no's and stops on the way. So yeah, yeah. Yes, and what, what is the name of the series? It's called Archivo Muerto. So um, the director is Ruth Del Pino and he's, he's an upcoming director too. And I'm very happy that I worked with him because he's very, you know, detail oriented and easy to work with. So <laughs> yes. that was great. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me, uh, Diana, um, you worked in some uh, American films, you know? And also, uh, I see here you appeared uh, on Jimmy Kimmel Live show, correct? <laughs> I didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just there for a, a comedy sketch. It was yeah. just one episode and um, it was unexpected. And mm -hmm. I was just playing a coffee barista and um, they were doing um, a set of... Uh, do you remember the TV show Scandal on, a on ABC? Mm -hmm. They were doing like the Mexican version of that, like a soap opera, like Mexican soap opera, telenovela, right? So all the actors were there and speaking in Spanish and like being overly dramatic and just over the top. So it was, it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is something like Saturday Night Live sketches like that. You know? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And tell me, uh, you have um, an uh, American agent uh, that proposed to you some works as well? I have a manager. Uh, I had agents in the past. This somehow um, is working for me at the moment. That it, I had both in the past. I have just an agent in the past. So it depends on uh, where I'm going or like this, the strategy. And I feel like a manager, it's more like personal because they just see your career as a whole. And, and an agent is more like they send you a lot of different projects and see which one you get. <laughs> and so, yeah. So yeah, I'm with a manager right now. And I'm yeah. an American manager that also covers Mexico and the US. So that works for me. Uh, very good. And tell me, uh, um, you worked uh, as well with uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, in, in that was that was kind of like um, that was a different experience. They called me last minute because they needed a girl 
um, to, they needed a woman that was Latina to have like certain measurements, body measurements. And apparently the actress that was going there left and they call me last minute and I was just, you know, just happened to have the same measurements. So they call me and uh, I was there, but I didn't have, I mean, I was supposed to have lines and be featured and somehow the this, this scenes were shifted, you know, when you're running and you're like, we need to get this going, we need to finish this before the light or whatever, um, or the end of the day. So it was kind of like bittersweet because it was, a, I, I was excited to be on set, um, to just, I mean, be in front of that amazing director, Paul Thomas Sanderson, it's a legend, but like nothing like that ended up being on the movie. So. <laughs> so it was like, okay, great, bye. Um, but I, I treasured that moment, I have to say. I, I do, I, I enjoyed it. And I I was seeing things. Um, I mean, I was seeing the way he he works super, like this close. So that was that was a great opportunity for me to see how they, they worked. Yes. Yes, the movie was very long, by the way. That's why maybe they needed to cut some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it, though. <laughs> yes, but tell me, uh, you have a film called The uh, One? Preparing a film called One? Or this is uh, like a, an um, uh, not updated? Basically, the producer for, from is for Isai Sushi, she uh, wanted to make a film about a woman who you know, the, the Latino community that works in Napa Valley, in the vineyards. And um, she pitched me the project and it's still being developed. Um, so Julie Rubio, that's her name. She wants to direct it and she sent me the script and uh, we talk about the story and certain things. So it's still being developed. Do you think the um, in America there is interesting um, roles for uh, Mexican or Latino actresses in uh, general right now? I have to say that I've seen that changing over the years. Uh, before it used to be like, again, <laughs> another stereotype, please. <laughs> And I have to say that the last few auditions that I've been having in literally in the past month have been very interesting. Uh, one of them, an art curator, painter, the other one being an activist, like very vocal and involved in politics. Another one was about, wait, which one? Um, oh, oh, a workaholic. So I, I, I think based on all these movements that have been happening around um, gender and race. Um, right now, the industry is changing because we don't want to see, at, at least I don't want to see that being portrayed over and over. At some point it gets, it gets, um, well, annoying or it feels like you're being put on a box and I, I know a lot of people and they have wonderful lives and wonderful careers and I want to see that out there as well. I'm not denying that aspect of certain things that happen, but it's just if, if you get to play the same role, it's not fun anymore, especially if they're making fun of you. <laughs> so, yeah, I am happy to say that it's changing. Do I want to see more like that? Yes, um, but at least we're getting there slowly. Yes, Re recently, a few months ago, I saw uh, Netflix, uh, you know, uh, Narcos, Mexico, you know, and uh, of course, it's uh, more of um, a, a main show, you know, because it's related to drugs, but the uh, the female characters were not so bad. I don't know if you have seen it or not. I, I haven't. Um, I haven't. I tend not to watch a lot of those shows. I. I mean, I, I I don't know why I haven't seen it, to be honest. I guess because I'm from Sinaloa. <laughs> and it's like, again, they're talking about Culiacan in that way. And, and 
maybe I'm just portraying my 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 own you know values in a different way. And uh, not to judge any of that, because at the end of the day, I think the stories are so amazing and so compelling and just it, it grabs your attention. The level of creativity that these people have in order to do, you know, something illegal. So, and just like the level, like how much they, they take circumstances to the, you know, to, to the end. So that's... I have to say that I haven't really watched it, but I watched another show that it was about uh, El Chapo. Um, and I, I have to say that I learned a lot about that just by watching it. Sometimes I think acknowledging also what, what's happening in the country and just seeing it like that, which can be hard sometimes, especially for us that, you know, Mexicans, uh, it also helps you to understand things better, digest it, and eventually change it, which at the end of the day, I think those shows um, can be enlightening. But I, I, I have to say that I, I've seen the, the, you know, the scene alone drug dealer over and over, and it just, it got a little bit tiring for me, so. Do you have yourself like a, a dream project or a dream lo role you want to accomplish in America or uh, Mexico? Yes, uh, geez, I want to do everything. I want to try it all. I think that's part of why I decided to become an actress because I want to have all those many different experiences. And uh, obviously for me, artistic projects that feel feed the soul are more important, but I also, I'm not going to lie. If I, if you put me there just to kick some butt and just like be a superhero, I would be having a lot of fun. Or, uh, I think my, my dream would be like biographical or period pieces. Um, I didn't see a lot of Latinas doing that. Um, normally we're being portrayed as low profile and, and um, just like subservient roles. So I want to see, you know, a Dolores Del Rio type of act actress there. I, I want to see, you know, this, let's just say I want to see Latino royalty that has nothing to do with drugs. You know, it's like, oh yeah, they're the kings, but they made this all all of this illegally. Um, not to judge, you know, everybody makes their own choices. But I would, I as for me, I would like to to see more inspiring roles and like a, a variety of of, um, of jobs <laughs> other than you know the same archetypes. So biographical pieces, why not comedy? um you know on amazon or things like that for example i have to say that katherine Seta jones when i saw her in the zorro i was like i look like her or in a way you know like you see yourself look like slightly similar and you think that that's possible for you or even wonder woman we might not be the same race but uh we might not be the same um et i'm sorry the, from the same country, but you start to seeing other possibilities other than um, sub the subservient role you get offered over and over. So, yeah, something like that. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, Salma Hayek did a lot of work as well with uh, oh, Roberto yes. Rodriguez, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, uh, I, I've been reading that uh, maybe the upcoming Captain Marvel, they will cast an African-American uh, woman, you know, like in the comics, you know, because sometimes uh, some other characters take over, uh, you know, uh, in the comics, you know. So I think this, um, uh, the stereotype, you know, and uh, the usual drama will pass on, especially that Mexico uh, has a lot of history, you know, you will find a lot of interesting characters. And also nowadays you can find uh, a lot of um, uh, social related subjects, you know, to be portrayed uh, 
in cinema and uh, television. And I remember in the 60s and the 70s, uh, Mexican cinema were, uh, was very rich, you know, with comedy. It was, uh, they, there was a lot of popular mm -hmm. comedy. In Mexico, right. You know, like a, a big wave of comedy. Yes. Okay, Diane, I, I want to thank you very much. Thank for, you. Uh, you and uh, I wish you all the best and uh, Thank you next so much. year uh, we can see some uh, new works you know best yes. wishes okay thank you I'm very happy to say that uh, yes I am definitely that's that's happening I'm currently working in a project that it, it was a beautiful surprise for me because it's artistic I'm playing something that I never played before and it's uh, with a wonderful cast uh all over the world and they're doing precisely what we were talking about just changing the stereotype for many ethnicities and just empower them um in a way that we can just get creative and and also tell the story so soon you will be hearing about that thank you thank you so much for, for your time and for for this beautiful conversation thank you diana take care okay Ciao. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Hasta la vista. <laughs> Bye. Bye.